conservative in the media viewers what's going on it's me john d Villar. i've got a science story here for you and this one in my personal opinion is really interesting first of all my personal opinion only not alleging facts not casting any aspersions all for entertainment purpose only please check disclaimers check this out here's the deal apparently scientists have discovered an extremely huge supermassive black hole now that's one thing and that's interesting but it's basically in my personal opinion from what i can understand one of the biggest that they've ever spotted but here's where it gets even more interesting in my opinion the deal is is that basically you have galaxies of different sizes right right and therefore at the center of um of, of uh, the galaxies are supermassive black holes and they, they sit there and, and usually there is a correlation or a relationship between the size of the galaxy and the size of the black hole. In this situation it's actually a you know smaller galaxy you know, much like let's say 10% of the Milky Way is this galaxy this black hole is in. But the black hole's taking up 59% of the mass in the center. I mean, that's, that's, it, that's intense. You think about that. Think about a black hole taking up 59% of the mass in the center of a galaxy. Usually when we're talking about galaxies, you know, the normal benchmark would be about a 0.1% of the you know, central mass, okay? Before this one was found, the largest one that they had ever seen was about 11% in terms of the ratio of, the, of, of central mass of the supermassive black hole to the, uh, uh, the mass at the center of a galaxy. So that's really extreme. You think about that. Now let's talk about maybe some, some more uh, sort of hard numbers here. This extremely huge supermassive black hole, its mass is 17 billion times the mass of our sun that is super intense okay compare that to uh the the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy the milky way that's you know uh the mass of that black hole it was basically like 14 million not billion million times the mass of our sun so i mean you can see that comparison right there that's an extreme difference yet our galaxy is you know much bigger than this other galaxy this other galaxy is only about 10 percent the the, the 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 mass of our galaxy so you get that kind of 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 comparison there now you know what 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 are scientists going to make of this does this does this now tweak and change the model of what they think is possible out there and 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 how to think about you know how galaxies might operate and how supermassive black holes might operate and you know here but the bigger question is how is it doing that right i mean let's talk about that here what makes this so interesting in my opinion is that there had been sort of a, a thought process i believe that you know there was kind of, uh, again, most of these supermassive black holes are basically 0.1% of the central mass of, um, of, you know, of, of a galaxy, right? There's, there's sort of a, a rough ratio in terms of this. And, and because, you know, the, the, um, the, the black holes can only take in so much mass at any one time, typically, right? And therefore, like, if there's... Um, a lot of times, like you'll see, if there's too much stuff coming in, they'll eject with you know quasars and stuff like that. Um, you know, some of the material out, and they you know, have these blasts of you know X-rays and gamma rays and stuff like, and, and, and eject mass out because it's just you know you can't it can't you know some of these black holes can only handle so much stuff. So you know that's the the sort of normal understanding of you know how black holes and supermassive black holes operate now he, with this one being at, at, at having that kind of intense mass 17 billion suns worth of mass and having that kind of extreme ratio it in my personal opinion might raise the question of is there some is there something else going on here in other words how did it get that big is there some mechanism some kind of of tweak that allows it to take in more mass relative, you know, to other supermassive black holes, and what could that portend? I mean, again, 
you know, we're just learning so much stuff now, and there's so, the universe is so big. What might we see out there? You know, is this like a, a radical version of a black hole? You know, a supermassive black hole. So there's a lot of questions that get raised, you know, with this. And I'm very interested to see where, where it goes from there. What do you think about this? This is an extremely large supermassive black hole. And relative to the galaxy that it's around, it's the record by far of the biggest one in relation to the galaxy that it's in, in uh, the central mass of the galaxy that it sits in. What's your take on it? What do you, how do you think it got that big? And what do you think it means? And what do you think we'll find out next? You tell me what's going on. Is there here? You know, is there something unusual going on there with this supermassive black hole? Tell me what you think about it. What is happening with it? Comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching Consumer the Media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.